question isn't why you aspire to drive an Audi. That's self-evident. But how you get there? A discerning buyer wants to know their options, like leasing versus financing. What's the best strategy for your financial well-being? And as you know, it starts with understanding the benefits of each option. With leasing, you make payments over a set period of time. Lease payments tend to be less than finance payments over the same term. And at the end of the lease term, you have the option to return the vehicle and lease a brand new Audi. Or you may choose to purchase your leased vehicle for a predetermined price. With financing, you purchase your vehicle over a set period of time, with monthly or bi-weekly payments that fit within your budget. And at the end of your term, you'll own your vehicle outright. And so, when making the decision between leasing versus financing, here are the key questions. Do you drive less than 25,000 kilometers a year? Do you enjoy having the latest in modern design, comfort, and options? Is it okay that the ownership doesn't have your name on it? Can you avoid the temptation to customize your vehicle? Would you like to drive a new car more often? Now, if you answered yes to most of these questions, leasing is probably the best option for you. But if you answered no to most of the questions, you may want to consider financing instead. It's that simple. And if you are leaning toward leasing, you should be aware that there may be lease end obligations regarding the wear and tear on your vehicle. However, with Audi Aftercare, we have a whole suite of protection products, including the Lease Excess Wear Waiver, which can protect you from excess wear and tear charges. In fact, Audi Aftercare protection plans are great for leasing or financing. So visit your local Audi dealer for more details on leasing or financing your new Audi.